Hi guys, Gina with Gina's Crafting Spot. I'm embossing some wood veneers today to go with one of the kits I just got in my haul. And what I am doing is taking some, that is, I'll show you a little bit better later. But I just took some of my wood veneers. They're from different, um, uh, I know I Studio Calico, I'm not sure who else I have. Um, but I just picked out some of those wood veneers that I think I would like with this collection. So I took some Pirate Gold, I think it is, um, embossing powder, and I added some of the Adirondack Gold Glitter. And that is my little mix there that I'm going to use. And I have my, um, what's that called? A butterfly wood veneer there. And I just splotched on some Versamark on half of the butterfly. Then I just put my little mixture on top of the butterfly and I'm just going to heat set it. And yeah, you can see the color change. It's kind of quick, but it did change color. See, now it's like bright. So some of them I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the two-tone on them. But yeah, all I'm doing using my tweezers, I'm gonna just ink up with the Versamark half of that a little heart and adding more of the gold glitter combo embossing powder. So that's all I'm doing. So um, I guess I didn't have to show you all of it, but I, uh, I did. So those were kind of harder. If you have a Versamark pen, that might work better for these little pieces, but I didn't feel like hunting mine down. I don't know where I have it. So I figured it'd just be quicker to just smudge it on with the Versamark pad itself. And then I'm going to decide here to use a different color. So I that's how I used to store my embossing powders with the different colors on them. So I'm going to do that Bliss one again. Same thing. going to just ink up half of it, the top and the bottom instead of the sides. And with that, I'm going to use, um, it was just some, I think from Joanne, those packs of glitters that they used to have like a million gazillion years ago. So I am just spreading that on with just a spoon, a little baby spoon with that lighter turquoise and it's going to look pretty. So I'm just going to heat it up and set it and that one is ready to go. And then I think I show you at the end where I go back with the other color. Not quite sure what I do here. I didn't do it that long ago, but you know, you never know when you start or stop the camera. I don't anyway. Sometimes. And I'm not good at editing, so. So yeah, so I'm just going to continue. Some of them are going to be turquoise, some gold, and I'm going to have some pink ones because there's a lot of pink in the Millie and June collection. And I really love um, the colors in that, so I decided to yeah, add a little bit more to my collection with my wood veneers and stuff like that so it could be a larger kit. And I'll make some more embellishments if I run out, but otherwise this was just like one of the accents I wanted to add. So sorry, I'm out of a camera view. I don't know what I'm doing because I'm too zoomed in. I think I'm just trying to make space to do it. So I went ahead and finished them and here you can see the finished product. Like I said, some I did two-tone um, with the gold, some I did with some pink and I did the same thing, Just I just used ink though. So I did the Versamark, put my pink ink clear embossing powder and yeah, that's how I did it. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you these are some extra embellishments I made for this kit and this is how I put it in my iris container um, with that uh, divider. I only have one of these, so I'm using this for the million June. So I put the bigger pieces on the bottom with the paper obviously and the stickers and then that's where all the embellishments go. So yeah, I just wanted to show you a quick way to add to your kits and uh, yeah. That is about it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.